Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and today we're going to be looking at Jolly Cloud itself. So we had a quick walk of the Linux backend, and now we're going to take a look at the actual application. So, when you start Jolly Cloud, I don't have any friends, which is kind of sad, but the app directory is very extensive. So you have this first page of Featured. Uh, you can see I've, I've gone ahead and I've installed these ones with the green check marks. Dropbox, I have to love that. Google Reader, Facebook, all of these... Um, are essential online apps. You go by accessories, development, this is all for coding. Education. Okay. And as you can see, there's like four pages. So like the digital music guide. That looks really interesting. So you can just click on it. And then it tells you a lot about it. Games. Three pages of games for graphics. Um, it's got all all of the goodies: Pixar, Flickr, Picnic. You can even resize images. I've downloaded this one. I mean, if you don't know that much about what's going on cloud-wise on the web, uh, having a look through this application directory will give you a really good idea of everything that's available for online services. It's 13 pages for internet. Let me just take a quick look around here. Friend feed, Doppler, Hootsuite. Oh, I love Hootsuite, excellent. Right. It just keeps on going and going. It's pretty nice. For Office, I have Open Office, Google Apps, Google Wave. <clears throat> so on sound and video, so you can you can learn more about all of these all these applications. Now, if we go to the start menu, now when when you download them, where do they go, right? So this is the the back end of the Linux. This is for when you're offline or, or whatever. Um, you just go through here, and so for graphics, the resize images, that shows up in here. So Internet, Gmail, and Google Reader, these are the two that I've downloaded. Office, Google Wave, and Open Office. So when you, when you start off on Jolly Cloud, you can just go down the side and then automatically go to the application that you're looking for. So let's go to YouTube. So as you can see in the top left here, it's a tiny, teeny little YouTube icon. Let's say, we want to resize some images. And there's a tiny little icon up here. The interesting thing to note about when you go to these specific icons, it's not like a web browser. There's no toolbar. Um, if I want the toolbar, a traditional web browser. Open Firefox. And here we go. Traditional browser with all of the plugins. I mean, I use Feedly, so I decided to put the plugin here in the Firefox browser. So then this is my Feedly front page. So let's just head back to Jolly Cloud for a minute. So you can click on the small cloud up here. You go to the dashboard, you have all your friends. Updates. History. So you can see all the applications that I've installed. All right, settings, here's me. Uh, this, um, this was brought from my Facebook actually. So 
apparently what I've said on my Facebook is I bring my netbooks to bed, no joke, the PSU keeps me wearing it at night. So Jolly Cloud actually pulled that somewhere off my Facebook to put it in my profile here, which is pretty fun. So here in the, uh, in the settings, I've named my 1000 HA EPC Sweet Pea. Um, so you can coordinate all of your computers together. Now this is for when I get more friends on here. So let's just search friends and apps here. Sasha underscore P. That's his usual name there. All right. So let's follow Sasha. Let's click on his profile. All right, so I can see everything that he's installed here, which is very helpful because I actually know all of these people. And there's another tab here called Labs that's in light gray. So I'm very curious to see what Jolly Cloud has coming up in that tab. All right, so this has been a quick look around the Jolly Cloud GUI, the actual Jolly Cloud GUI, not the Linux backend that we were having a look at earlier. All right, so I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, having a look at Jolly Cloud.